Hey folks, Daily Lines blog for the 5th of September 2021. So we're in our new digs and I think the best part of the house case is probably this front walkway right now. We are not going to change a thing. How bad does it look by the way? It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty that bad. railing's not great. No, the railing is not great. The stairs are not great, but I promise you sometime in the future uh, it'll look better. I don't think that there has been a, a better example of, uh, of mental illness and what it can do and who it can touch than Naomi Osaka. She lost at the US Open and afterwards she said something that I thought was so important for people to really listen to and to really understand. And if you are somebody that battles mental illness, if you heard her, you would understand 100% right away what she was saying. And if not, you got to listen to her and you got to understand that this is uh, a phenomenal tennis player, one of the best in the world and the best in the world at different times. Naomi Osaka, uh, after losing, said, you know, I'm going to take a break now again from tennis. She just looked like she was just so beaten up, not by the tennis, but by the illness. She said, when I win, I don't feel happy. When I win, I don't feel happy. That says everything that you need to know about mental illness and who it can touch and you know how widespread it is and how your success in life has nothing to do with it. We all feel the same thing. We all feel this loss of the ability to experience joy. So whether you win a tennis match or not, you can't feel the joy. And she said it, and I hope we remember this, and I hope so badly that she gets better, just like I hope you get better if you're experiencing the same thing. But we all know that feeling if we've had depression. When I win, I don't feel happy. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 343 days a year. Why are we here, Case? Because Naomi Osaka needs us. She does.